when the collapse finally starts, the antenna started just a little bit before the exterior of the building started. And that tells us that the core columns let go first. At 10.28 a.m., the weakened core columns of the North Tower finally give out in the intense heat of the... They pulled on the columns, blowing them inward nearly five feet in some areas until the columns reached the breaking point. Suddenly the columns snapped, and as a result, the entire top of the building came down. I think a bomb went off in the lobby first, then a plane hit the building. But then a I think a bomb went off in the lobby first, then a plane hit the building. But then another plane hit the other building. And but when I was coming through the doors on the other side of the Trade Center, something either they blew the lobby up or, or something because it blew the glass out of the doors and knocked us all down. And I got a uh, smoke and everything on me. I just feel a little shook up because I got blasted, you know, so. Tell us what you saw when you exited the subway station due to a lack of smoke. Eileen. Um, it was very smoky, and then we exited on Church Street out of the past train station. Uh, at the time, I was actually in the subway heading towards the World Trade Center right around Franklin Street. And after the first explosion, the subway station started to fill with smoke. The subway cars started to fill with smoke, and the subways actually stopped. The ladies that are with me were in the World Trade Center on the, on, in the first building and escaped through the lobby where they report they believe there was a bomb in the lobby. And even the turnstile was burnt and it was sticking up, and they just told us to run. And as we were coming out, we passed the lobby. There was no lobby. So I believe the, the bomb hit the lobby first and a couple of seconds in the first plane hit. Yes. They were having coffee in the World Trade Center when the first plane struck. And all of a sudden it sounded like, I don't know where the subway is, but it sounded like a subway collision, a bomb, and it, it, it was just pounding, boom, boom, boom. And I, I literally thought the subway had exploded and, and all the cars put the land on top of it. It was so loud. And what'd you I was entering the building on the lobby level. I was in the revolving door when the plane hit the building. David Dre worked in number one World Trade Center. One of the elevators, I think, came crashing to the lobby level and all this debris came flying out of it. And a fireball emerged from the, lo from the elevator lobby. And was coming toward me. I was standing next to one World Trade Center and then all of a sudden I heard rumbling and we all started running away from it. The glass like blew out and threw me onto the sidewalk and I, I couldn't see for like 20 seconds. Bottom elevator to the glass flames exploded out the front of the World Trade Center. Glass flew everywhere. At 8.30, he says he was headed to level B4 in Tower 1, four stories below ground. I go downstairs. The foreman tells me to go to remove the containers. As I'm walking by the main freight car of the building in the corridor, that's, that's when I got blown. I mean, the impact of the explosion of whatever happened, it threw me to the floor, and that's when everything started happening. I know people that 
got killed in the basement. I know of people that got broken legs in, their, in the basement. People that got reconstructive surgery because the walls hit them in the face. A letter. Tell me what you remember happening. Well, I walked out the revolving door from the lobby, the last uh, door before you get to the outside. I had no sooner walked out the door where I heard a whooshing, roaring noise. Uh, and I look to my left, and I see a friend of mine uh, with terror on his face racing for cover. And uh, I looked, I'd heard the, uh, a boom and, a, and the ground tremble. And uh, the next thing I know, I was looking up uh, at the uh, roof, and I'm seeing stuff coming off the roof. So I figured my best bet would be to get back into the building so uh, to avoid the stuff coming off the roof. I know as soon as I had gone back into the revolving door when uh, uh, all of a sudden it seems like the whole lobby, the door I was in and everything filled up with a yellowish, brownish uh, combustible mixture. I didn't really smell any different, but it wasn't, it took so quickly to happen. It was mm -hmm. like a tenth of a second and the next thing I know is a major explosion of which I'm now thrown back out through both of these, uh, through the revolving door and back outside underneath the overhang where the taxis would come in. I was on fire. I quickly put my shirt out and kind of doused my hair and just started to stagger away as fast as I could. The, 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 I guess the thought is that it was jet fuel that had sort of poured into the lobby that that hit you and as a result you caught on fire. I know you were stumbling around, you were quite disoriented and you can't really remember exactly what happened. But yes, I was right there. I was in the be I was down in the basement, came down, all of a sudden the elevator blew up, smoke, I dragged the guy out, his skin was hanging off, and I dragged him out and I helped him out of the uh, to the ambulance. On the sixth floor and I was uh, reviewing some work and it was about ten to nine and the building shook. And I felt it was an earthquake, and it didn't bother me because I felt the building could sustain earthquakes. They were built for that. And then there was a huge explosion, and the ceiling fell. She went through the front uh, door of the ground floor, and the lady who was about three seconds in front of him was hit by a terrific fireball, and she was horrifically injured. So we went to our systems. I think he got some rather paper cut to put over. And as he was doing that, another explosion happened. In uh, the B4 level, I was assigned to the B3 level, but I had to do something in the B4 uh, sheet metal shop. So I went in the sheet metal shop, do what I had to do, and on my way, I heard a, a bomb. So I said, ah, probably the transformer again blew up. So I stepped back, finished what I had to finish, and I started towards the door again. And there come a big blast with a big ball of fire. And that's when I got hit. It hit me right back down on the ground, and I realized that my ankle was shattered. There's an explosion. We're on the support floor, which is the basement. A uh, guy came in warning. All his skin was out of his body. All his skin was out of his body. We took him out. We, run, we ran out. We heard a lot, a lot of rumbling. I went back in. There was uh, a lot of smoke. We were and all of a sudden, we were boom! I thought it was a... Uh, generator that blew up on the basement. And I said to myself, oh my God, I think it's a generator. And I was going to verbalize it when I finished saying that in my mind, I hear <laughs> right on top. Really far away. So it was a difference between coming from the basement and coming from the top. And that's, everybody started screaming. And a person comes running into the office saying, explosion, explosion, explosion. And he said, the elevators, the elevators. We then uh, were, you know, talking about the day's work and what needed to be done. We heard a massive explosion. Uh, that was in the World Trade Center at about 8.46 a.m. in the morning.
Um, the explosion came from, I believe, at first we believed that it came from the mechanical room. And then uh, we heard a series of other uh, explosions that sounded up on the above uh, levels of the of the building to where we then we then realized that it, there was something wrong. And Let me tell you, Arturo. Now you you were you were manning what a freight elevator? I was running 58 car at the elevator that go from B6 to 108 floor. Where were you when it happened? Well, I was on my way from B2 to 49th floor. And as I took off, it was a matter of a sec seconds, five, six, seven seconds, I don't know. And there was a loud explosion and the elevator drop. And when the elevator dropped, was a lot of debris and cables falling on top of the elevator. And, uh, I just, I just, uh, I put my hand over my head and I say, oh God, I'm going to die. But I didn't know what was happening. When the elevator finally stopped, they had an explosion that bring the doors inside the elevator. And I think, I'm sure that that was, uh, broke my leg. And then they had another explosion on the panel that threw me, you know, against the wall. And I guess I was uh, unconscious for a couple of minutes. When there were people in the lobby on fire, yes. you didn't photograph them? No. I remember when we arrived, um, the, all the windows in the lobby had been blown out. Uh, marble has come off the wall. People are burning. And we would later uh, realize it had been the uh, jet fuel coming down from the plane to mm -hmm. the elevator shaft and created a fireball in the lobby. And as I enter, through the doors on my right, I just glance, and you have two people uh, on fire, and just the image was so horrible that I, on the spot, said, "No one should see this, or would want to see this." But it was just. It was the first chief into the building. Right away, a guy from the Port Authority told him the damage was somewhere above the 78th floor, but all you had to do was look around. It was obvious. Something had happened right there in the lobby. You just you just saw that all the windows were blown out. The lobby looked like the plane hit the lobby. Yeah. This happened at about 8.45 this morning while we were on the air. It first broke. It's now uh, some three hours and a few minutes later. Let's go back to that moment when we were on the air and the first crash took place. <laughs> what the hell was that? It sounded like a plane crash. It was the reaction on the part of, uh... Right. Can you describe what you saw on the first floor and right after the plane hit? Once the plane hit the top, then that's when the bomb is going on from the first floor. It's like the plane is actually hitting, hitting the first floor. If you wish to bring uh, anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this, you have to get at the 
at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down.